Mrs. Ladybug is a pretty interesting animation. This is an MGM cartoon from 1940. It's directed by Rudolph Ising and written by Morris Day, with a voice cast including Sarah Berner, Mel Blanc, Jean Dunn, Rudolph Ising, the Rhythmets, Georgia Stark, and Paula Winslow. And that may seem like an extensive voice cast for a, a seven-minute animation, but there are many, many more characters than that. And that's because this is about a ladybird or a ladybug who has so many children and initially in the animation we see her feeding her children she feeds them pancakes and then having to do all the laundry and the dishes she's exhausted so she decides to get a maid and this spider sees the advertisement for the maid and decides to dress up as a well, I was going to say dress up as a maid, dress up as a character who looks like they would fit that profile and the spider becomes a maid in this ladybug's home. And of course, the spider's plan is to capture and eat the little ladybug children. And it definitely has some clever attempts at doing that, but the children are not making it easy. And I won't say any more than that about the specifics, as I do recommend it, and I don't want to spoil it. But I will say that it's a, it's a fun concept. I also didn't know that spiders ate ladybirds, and I feel kind of saddened by that. I don't feel saddened when spiders eat flies, because I don't think flies are very cute. But ladybirds are adorable. I actually found one on my floor uh, yesterday. It was not alive. I assume that was my cat's doing, but at least the cat didn't eat it. This spider has big plans, though, to eat this ladybird's brood, and it's it's interesting to see it playing out. There are definitely some things that I think worked really well. I didn't think it was funny as such, but I, I found it to be charming, and the animation quality is very good. Occasionally, I felt like I needed a bit of room to breathe, and by this, I mean it's a very small house with a lot of characters in it. So everything does feel busy and bunched together. And obviously that's in fitting with the narrative that makes perfect sense. But every now and then I really wished we had just a moment to breathe and feel a little less claustrophobic. But other than that, it worked really well. The characters were really great. The designs of the Ladybird characters I thought were adorable. And the spider certainly looked rather menacing. The music as well is very good. The music is very quick, which goes in, in keeping with the pace of the animation. I thought it was pretty decent. It's probably not ever going to be one of my all-time favourite MGM cartoons, but that being said, I quite liked it, and I'd say Mrs. Ladybug is worth checking out.